I never believe it when they said pottery drink a lot of water until I started my own. If somebody tells you that pottery drink a lot of water, please believe him or her because it is true. Pottery drink a lot of water. So today I'm going to share with you the approximate daily water consumption by layers. Layers and broilers drink different quantity of water. Today I'm going to share only with layers, layers. And in my next video, I promise you I'm going to share with brawlers amount of water brawlers drink. So if today is your first time of hearing this wonderful voice, please kindly subscribe, like, and comment. Let's get started. I hope you are trying to start your own pottery farming or you have already started. If we ask, what is one of the most important things that can make a pottery farm successful? You are going to mention feed. It is very true, but there is another thing that can make a poultry farmer successful or failure. That is water. Today I'm going to share with you the approximate daily water consumption by layers. Layers and broilers drink different quantity of water. Today I'm going to share with you only layers. In my opinion. Now you have brought your day old chicks into your farm. They are day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. When they are day seven, they are one week. We are going to calculate it from seven days going. From day one, day two, we don't calculate it from there because at that stage, they are eating and they are drinking is not that quantified a lot. So we are going to start from day seven. Day seven, they are one week old. When they are one week old, one day old chick is going to drink 100 ml of water. If you have 1,000 day old chicks, they are going to drink 100,000 ml. 1,000 times 100 ml, it is going to give you 100,000 ml of, of water. If we convert this 100,000 ml of water into liters, 1,000 bears are going to drink 100 liters of water in a day. If 1,000 bears are drinking 100 liters of water in a day, how many are they going to drink in 7 days, which is going to give you 1 week? It means... 7 times 100 liters, it is going to give you 700 liters of water in a week. From week 1 to week 4, your day old chicks are going to drink the same amount of water. That is 100 ml in a day. So if 1,000 day old chicks are drinking 700 liters of water per week, it means from week 1 to week 4, your day old chicks are going to need 2,800 liters of water. If we convert this 2,800 liters of water into four gallons, it means you are going to need four type of gallon, four four gallon of water each day for week one to week four for your thousand day old chicks. If now let's get to week five. On week five, each day old chick is going to drink 160 ml. You see, it has increased a little bit. Which means if you have 1,000 day old chicks, 1,000 times 160 ml, it is going to give you 160,000 ml. When we convert this 160,000 ml into liters, it is going to give you 160 liters of water. It means 1,000 bears are going to drink 160 liters of water in a day. From week, from week 5 going, if 1,000 bears are drinking 160 liters of water in a day, how many water are they going to drink in a week? It means seven days times this 160 liters of water. It is going to give you 1,120 liters of water. Notice from week 5 to week 12, they are going to drink the same amount of water, 160 ml each day. Approximate. It is going to be almost the same. It is going to be the same. So if week 5 to week 12, they are going to drink the same amount of water. Then let's calculate it. From week 5 to week 12, it is going to give you 8 weeks. From week 5 to week 12, you are going to need 1,120 liters of water times 8 weeks. And it is going to give you 8,960 liters of water in order to give to your day-old chicks, 1,000 day-old chicks from Week one, if we convert this 8,960 liters of water into kofor gallon, it is going to give you six kofor gallon each day in order to give to your 1,000 day old chicks. 
If you have 2,000 day old chicks, just multiply 8,960 by 2, and the answer should help you calculate the amount of water you are going to give to your 2,000 bears. If you have 3,000 day old chicks, calculate, but multiply this 8,960 by 3, and it is going to give you the answer. So, in short, 1,000 bears from week 5 to week 12, which is 8 weeks period, it is going to give you 8,960 liters of water. When we convert this liters of water into four gallons, it is going to give you six, 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 six four gallons each day in order to give to your thousand day old chicks for week one to week. Now let's go to week 13. Week 13, each day old chick, which is growing, and obviously the drinking is also growing, is going to bring 200 ml of water. If you have thousand day old chicks, which is growing, 1,000 times 200 ml, it is going to give you 200,000 ml. When we convert this 200,000 ml into liters, it is going to give us 200 liters. How are we going to know that this is the amount they are going to drink for the whole week? 200 liters of water times 7 days, it is going to give you 1,400 liters of water. Note, from week 13 to week 18, the day old chicks, they are going to drink the same amount of water. For a period of six weeks, from week 13 to week 18, it's a period of six weeks. How are we going to know for the, si for the whole six period? Uh, 1,400 liters of water times six weeks. It is going to give us 8,400 liters of water, which means you need 8,400 liters of water to give to your 1,000 beds from week 13 to week 18. When we convert this 8,000, when we convert this 8,400 liters of water into four gallon, four gallon, it is going to give you eight four eight, one two three four five six seven eight kofor gallon in each day for thousand baby growing chicken. So you need eight gallon of water to give to your thousand day old chicks in a day for a period of six weeks from week 13 to week 18. You know, week 19, they are growing. Obviously, their yeah, everything is also growing. On week 19, each day old chick or each baby day old chick which is growing is going to drink 220 ml of water. If you have 1,000 day old baby growing chicks, it is going to, they, they, they are going to drink 220,000 ml of water. When we convert this 220,000 ml of water into liters, it is going to give us 220 liters of water for 1,000 baby growing day old chick each day. For one week, how are we going to know? Seven days in a week, seven days times 220 liters of water. It is going to give us 1,540 liters of water. So it means you need 1,540 liters of water for your 1,000 day old chicks, which is nine week. When we convert this 1,540 liters of water into kufo gallon, it is going to give you nine kufo gallon in a day. So you need nine kufo gallon to give to your 1,000 day old chick, which is growing on week nine for seven days. Now let's get to week two. Now let's get to week 20. Obviously, Week 20, they are growing and their everything is also growing. On week 20, each layer, week 20 obviously they are laying, on each layer is going to drink 250 ml of water. If you have 1,000 day old chicks, oh sorry, if you have 1,000 layers, week 20, they are laying now, they are grown, you cannot call them baby. On week 20, each layer is going to drink 250 ml of water. If you have 1,000 layer or 1,000 bed, they are going to drink 250,000 ml. 1,000 times 250 ml is going to give you 200,000 ml. 200,000 m 250,000 ml. When we convert this 250,000 ml into liters, it is going to give you 250 liters of water in a day for 1,000 beds. Seven days, 
how are we going to know 7 days times 250 ml in a day? It is going to give you 1,750 liters of water. 7 times 250 liters. 7 days. 7 days times 250 liters of water in a day. It is going to give you 1,750 liters of water for one week. When we convert this 1,750 liters of water into four gallons, it is going to give you 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. It is going to give you 10. 10 four gallons in a day for one week on week 20. Now let's get to week 21 and beyond. From week 21 till they go to somebody's soup. It is going to be the same. The value is going to be the same, the amount of water. Week 21, each layer is going to drink 270 ml of water. 1,000 times 270 ml. 1,000 beds times 270 ml. It is going to give you 200,000 ml of water each day for 1,000 beds. When we convert this 270,000 ml of water into liters, it is going to give us 270 liters of water. Now, for one week, how are we going to know? We have seven days in a week. Seven days times this 270 liters of water every day for 1,000 beds. It is going to give us 1,890 liters of water. You need 1,890 liters of water for 1,000 layers on week 21 going each week. When we convert this, 1,890 liters of water into kofua gallon. Kofua gallon. This is kofua gallon. In Ghana, we call it kofua gallon. If you want to know how to give this kof, when we convert this, when we convert this 1,890 liters of water into kofua gallon, it is going to give you 11, 11, 11, 11. It is going to give you 11, 11. 11 gallon of kufu water for 1,000 beds on week 21 going each day till they go to somebody's soup. Thank you for watching Safu Bafus TV. Please, if today is your first time of hearing this wonderful voice, kindly subscribe and like. Please, if you have been watching me since Kwame Nkrumah Memorial, but you have still not subscribed, Kindly subscribe, like, and comment. You are all welcome. All comments are welcome. All likes are welcome. All subscriptions are welcome. Thank you, and God richly bless you. See you. Bye-bye.